Product pages are one of the most important aspects of your Shopify store. So here's how to create them. From the home screen, we're gonna click into the products tab. So it's the third option down on the left side. If you have products already inputted, they will show up here. If you don't have any, or if you want to add another one, you would go up in this top right corner and hit add product. Once the add product page has loaded, we can first start with the title. So I'm just gonna add some thread as my product. So I'm gonna do red anchor thread. Anchor is just a brand. Description here, you'll likely want to put some keywords in there. So more descriptors of what your item is. You wanna kinda of make sure that if someone is looking for your product through a search engine like Google, that the search engines can look through this text and kind of get more of an idea of what your product is. So I could have something like this, 100% cotton thread is perfect for making your stitching top anchor thread has been a favorite amongst stitchers for many years. Now you can obviously type more or less if you wanted to, but in this case I would have 100% cotton, so that's explaining a little more. I'm saying thread again, I'm saying the brand again, thread again, and then just mentioning stitchers. So kind of what the thread is used for. I would recommend doing some research on search engine optimization, just so you can kind of get a better idea how to write your descriptions before you go and make hundreds of product pages with descriptions. And then if you have to go back and edit them, just take the time, maybe do an hour of research just to get a little more of the basics before you write too many descriptions. Okay, now that we have a description in here, we're gonna go down to media. This is where you would add your photos. So I'm gonna hit upload new and I'm gonna select from the images on my computer. So I've selected an image from the, the photos on my computer. So then now I have an image here of some red thread and you can always add more. You would just hit this add button. And then you can also drag and drop photos into this area. So you see I have this picture of this gray thread. If I were to drop it in there, it would upload. And then you can change the order. You just drag it around to change the order. So I'll keep that red one. I don't need this gray one. So I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna hit delete file. This can't be undone, we're gonna delete it. Yep, okay. So now that we have added our photo, we can go down to price. I'm gonna put, let's say just 58 cents. So you are making up the price you want to sell the item for. This compare at price, if you want it to look like it's discounted or if you do want to show a discount on the pages, you would put something here. So I could put compare at 63 cents or something. Now I'm not gonna do that at the moment. And then let's see, we would need to charge tax on this product. That's so Shopify will know whether or not to collect tax or not. Now. Shopify won't immediately collect for every state because you'll have to turn that on as you are required to collect for different states. Most of that is determined by how many sales you've had in a state per year or how many or how much you've sold dollar wise in state per year. And then we we'll go down here, cost per item. For tax reasons, it will likely be easier if you are inputting the cost per item. Let's say it's 23 cents for me to get one, it will fill out what the profit will be in dollar amount and then the margin. And this margin here is the profit margin. So the way they are calculating this is they are taking the profit and they're dividing it by the price. So what percentage of this price is profit, if that makes sense. If I were to take 35 cents and divide it by 58 cents, we're getting the 60.3%. If you want to change a decimal to percent, you just multiply by 100, so 60.3. So that's where that number is coming from. As we scroll down here a little more, you can have Shopify track your quantity. So as one would sell, it would take it out as your one's available. If you don't want it to remove one's available, then you would just deselect that. But here it's showing I have my PO box as my location because I don't have a physical location I am selling from. And then I can just put in here, let's say I got 12 of them in a box. And since I have this 
check marked to track quantity as a customer would buy, let's say one, that would go down to 11. And you can continue sell when you're out of stock. Maybe you're a business that lets people order and then as you order it in, you will ship it out. So you may not have it on hand. You could click to have it be able to sell when you're out. I always wanted to have stuff on hand before I sold it, so I never had that selected. This product has a SKU or barcode. You can keep that checkmarked or unchecked if it doesn't. A lot of this is helpful if you are scanning products, especially in person, to have it pull up in your system. Most of mine, I wasn't inputting it. So you see on this product, it did have a barcode. I could have typed that barcode in, but I wasn't scanning the barcodes anyway for inventory purposes or anything. So it really wasn't worth my time to input it in. For shipping, if you want Shopify to be able to calculate the weight of items or the weight of shipments, you can put in a weight in here. Let's say this weighed a pound. It doesn't because it's one thing of thread, but if you had a lot of stuff that weighed more, you can set up where the shipping will charge more depending on the weight of the items that your customer selected. I'm gonna go over the customs information in a different video, but just very briefly, you can put in where your items were manufactured and then the HS code for shipping purposes. You'll need that if you ship international. Then variants, I'm gonna go over in a different video. You can make it so people have different options to select on your product page. And then down here for the search engine listing, you can try to have your listings show up different in the search result. You can change how what text will show up. So I'm going to go over that also in a different video. So I just want to go over the, the very basics right now. And so now we have the title, the description, the photo, the price. We put a quantity in. We did put a weight in. Although you don't need to put a weight in if you don't want to. Let's say you're just going to charge people the same shipping no matter what, then you really don't have to worry about the weight. At this point, if you hit save, it will automatically go as active. If you don't want it to launch immediately on your website and be active, you can put it in draft mode before you save. We're just gonna put on active. So I'm gonna hit save. So added red anchor thread. And now I'm gonna go on my website and we're gonna find that listing. So I'm gonna red anchor thread. This is the one we have made. Now you can actually see I had different listings. I actually sold this. Here's the one we made. This availability text is something I had added later on, so that likely won't show up on yours. But then we have our title, the red anchor thread. We have the price of 58 cents. Quantity, my customers could get it go to go up to 12 because I have 12. My add to cart button, and then there's a description. And this is what we typed in that description. Now your page may look different because it depends on what theme you have on your Shopify store. But at this point, your listing is good to go. You can always add more to this and make it better or have it show up in the search engines differently. But you have the basics down and you have enough information inputted to have a legit live product on your website. And I did just want to show quick. So if we go back out of this product page and we search for that red anchor thread, you can find it in here and then you can click on it to continue editing it if you want to. So that's it for this video. I will go over some other sections of the product page in other videos. But again, this one covers the very basics of the items that are needed.